Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode 21 of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Ultimate Edition. Don't go anywhere because today we have a very exciting mission ahead. We are breaking into the castle where who knows what's going on. The dead are walking. Um, evil is afoot big time in this castle. And it's our duty to put it down and help ban Tegan and Isolde and Connor. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Here we go. Pile of filth. Deep mushroom. Wait, who's this? Nobody. Oh, wait, is this somebody? No. We've got a note. Very well. A rolled up note. Let's go ahead and read it. 306. I hope whoever finds this can read it. I hate the thought that my last words might be used as kindling or make or forbid to wipe someone's bum. But that's happenstance for you, I suppose. My name is Brandon. I was born in Rain's, Rainosphere. I grew apples once upon a time. When the Orlesians came to demand I bow to their emperor, I turned them away. They set fire to my orchards, to my house too, but I didn't care. I stood and watched them burn. Trees die eventually, houses fall, but my honor can be lost only if I let it. They came back a week later and demanded that I swear an oath. This time, when I refused, they clapped me in irons. Now I'm here. I'll die in this place. It seems a foolish thing to die for, doesn't it? I could have said a few words and rebuilt my home, gone on with my life as if nothing had changed. A hundred generations of my family have lived and died on that land, and I won't be the one to trade our family honor for apples. Whoever you are, whatever they've brought you here for, if you leave this place, I hope you'll go to Rainosphere. There's no living remnant of us left there, but you'll find my family all the same. We're stamped onto the earth. We're in the wind that rustles the trees. Tell my family how I died, and I promise you they'll hear. Brandon. Huh. That's interesting. Shambling corpse. Best be wary. There's more. Let's backstab this one. Everybody hanging in there? Come on, guys. Um, do a sweep. Nice. Morgan, Alistair, Liliana. Rocking him pretty good. Coming back, stab the shambling corpse. Nice. All right. Shambling corpse. Health poultice and five silvers. Wow, very nice. Hmm. It is begun. Five silvers, twenty-five. Pile of bones. Ice arrows. Um, let's continue on. Well, wait, let's F5 here. And then I uh, continue on. Are we in the castle? Perhaps. Redcliffe Cla Castle main floor. Backstab. Oh dang. Lesser shade and greater shade. Shall we go? 
Alistair, hang in there. Um, Alistair, go ahead and drink. Oh, we don't have much health. We don't have many health poultices. Dang. I am off. Come back here. Work on this shambling corpse. Um, sweet. Alistair's getting rocked. Dang. So is Liliana. Alistair's just gonna have to take an injury. Dang. Alright, let's just load. I shouldn't have opened that door yet. It's a problem. We we'll have to fight those shades after we get these shambling corpses that are gonna come running. We're already fighting with wrench limb and a cracked skull. There they are. Get him, guys. This is sweet. Picked up two silvers. Stab. Watch out. Make a preserve. Come on, Alistair, hang in there. Let's get some backstabs in. Oof, Alistair getting rocked again, so is Liliana. Very nice. Trying to get behind this one. Hang in there, Alistair. Oh, he's so close to dying. Dang, he went down. Ah, uh, we don't have much in the way of injury kit. Oof. Getting well. wrecked. Three silver. It shall be done. Deep mushroom. I should have somehow bought more poultices. Two silvers. As you say. I used too many in that battle. It's a problem. Concussion. Penalty to magic. Burning sensation. Okay. He's kind of okay. Let's um come in here. Let's let them come to us. Greater shade. Let me go ahead and get some backstabs in on this greater shade. Dang. These shades are wrecking shop. Drink a health poultice. Oof. One shade down, three more to go. Drink another health poultice. If we can win this without any, let's stun him. Oh, he's probably immune to that. If we can win this without any, f nice, without any defeats. New tactic. 
You checked. Ankles. <laughs> you checked indeed. We're gonna have to figure something out here. Alistair, are you using your best shield cover, threat, and shield defense? Sustain. Can you sustain this too? Very well. No. It's one or the other. And Morgan, do you have any stances or anything? No. Frost weapons. The caster enchants the party's weapons with frost, so they deal additional cold damage with each melee attack. Okay, so tactics. Um, I want Morgan. Self health minus fifty percent drain life. Being surrounded by mind blast. Being attacked by melee horror. Self status. Any. Um, frost weapons. And let's drag this to the top. No, enemy. Mirrors visible. Activate frost weapons. Okay. So we should be using frost weapons more. Let's head in here where the shades were. We've got a book. Whoops. The book is The History of the Chantry, Chapter 2, A Prophet Born. Let's go ahead and read this. Books and Songs, 202. History of the Chantry, Chapter 2. When the prophet Andraste and her husband Mafaroth arrived at the head of their barbarian horde, southern Tevinter was thrown into chaos. The Imperium had defended against invasions in the past, but now they stood without the protection of their gods, with their army in tatters and their country devastated by the blight. Many felt that the timing of the invasion was yet another of the Maker's miracles in Andraste's campaign to spread his divine word. His? I thought Andraste was she. Andraste was more than simply the wife of the warlord. Oh, the Maker's divine word. Andraste was simply more than simply the wife of a warlord. After all, she was also the betrothed of the Maker. Enraptured by the melodic sound of her voice as she sang to the heavens for guidance, the Maker himself appeared to Andraste and proposed that she come with him, leaving behind the flawed world of humanity. In her wisdom, Andraste pleaded with the Maker to return to his people and create paradise in the world of men. The Maker agreed, but only if all the world would turn away from the worship of false gods and accept the Maker's divine commandments. Armed with the knowledge of the one true God, Andraste began the exalted march into the weakened Imperium. One of the Maker's commandments, that magic should serve man rather than rule over him, was as honey to the souls of the downtrodden of Tevinter, who lived under the thumbs of the Magisters. Word of Andraste's exalted march, of her miracles and military successes, spread far and wide. Those in the Imperium who felt the old gods had abandoned them eagerly listened to the words of the Maker. Those throngs of restless citizens that destroyed temples now did so in the name of the Maker and his prophet Andraste. As Mafaroth's armies conquered the lands of southern Tevinter, so did Andraste's words conquer hearts. It is said that the Maker smiled on the world at the Battle of Valerian Fields, in which the forces of Mafaroth challenged and defeated the greatest army Tevinter could muster. The southern reaches of the mighty Imperium now lay at the mercy of barbarians. Faith in the Maker, bolstered by such miracles, threatened to take the, shake the foundations of the Imperium apart. Of course, the human heart is more powerful than the greatest weapon, and when wounded, it is capable of the blackest of deeds. From Tales of the Destruction of Thetis, by Brother Genitivi, Chantry Scholar. <clears throat> Interesting. Gonna light a smoke. I mean, the thing about this game... Is that everything in it is interesting. I mean, every single little twist and turn and bobble and bit of lore. <clears throat> All interesting stuff. <clears throat> um, I guess we can look in here. 
allow me. I could do that for you. Dang. These are four star locks, and we're probably not going to get another chance in here to unlock it. I shall do it. All right, let them come to us. Are we going to use frost weapons or? There we go. Now we're doing a little extra damage. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Dang, down goes Liliana. Down I go. Oh my gosh. This is not an easy level. Um. I don't understand why we're doing as poorly as we are. <clears throat> are we not using Morgan's magic properly? Frost weapons. Lightning. Mind blast. Horror. Vulnerability Hex. Disorient. Train Life. Winter's Grasp. Huh. It's just rough stuff. Let's get at this door and see if we can stop them. See if we can hold them at the door. Well, let's attack this one. Dang, they're walking right past us. Oh my gosh, they just keep coming. Why are so many coming? Morgan, attack this one. Liliana, back up. Back up. Attack that one. And drink a health poultice. Wow, we are really running low on supplies here. Liliana. There's too many of them. Down I go. Oh my gosh, why is there 50 million of them running at us? I don't know if that's a bug, if that many are supposed to come to us. Let's go ahead and turn it to easy. Because this is ridiculous. Easy. Settings best suited to players who are new to role-playing games or expect to play combat in real time rather than pausing off into plan tactics. At this setting, party members are immune to friendly fire and will heal easily while enemies inflict less damage than normal. I mean, we've got to because... What are we supposed to do here when there's 50 million of them? Let's run. Let's have... Let's grab everybody. You know what? Let's keep it on normal, but let's grab everybody and uh, come back here. All right, Alistair. Go ahead and shield bash. Attack that one and shield bash. All right, that didn't work. Um, everybody, 
attack the devouring corpse. Okay, now we have. Now we can maybe. Do something here. I'm backstabbing. Let's get that devouring corpse. Okay. Now, no more are coming. Oh, they are coming. Um, attack that one. Alistair. Do a shield bash. Resist it. Shield bash on that one. Or not. I need a health poultice. Um, let's go ahead and do a weapon swing. Alright, this is how it's supposed to be. Who's wounded? Liliana. Morgan, bust out a... Mind Blast. There, we've got some stuns. Dang, down goes Liliana. At least a million didn't come. Alistair can hang in there as I come here to backstab. Let me go ahead and hit two. Weakness. Ugh, Alistair. Hang in there, Alistair. Nice. Nice. Liliana felt... Whoa, Morgan. Don't go running ahead. We just had to come back a little bit. Come on, guys. I'm going to take a nap. I hope that's okay. Let's put our weapons away, guys. I'm going to take a nap. I hope that's okay. We put our weapons away. Why are we still in combat? Put our weapons away. I'm not giving up. We have one freaking health poultice and lesser health poultice left. That is really bad. We use way too many potions in that giant battle. Come on, guys. Put our weapons away. Is there any way to cancel combat? Come on. Can we put weapons away? Oh my gosh, it's gonna make us fight the rest of these shambling corpses and I don't want to. I don't know why there's not a button just to put weapons away. There we go. I'm sorry I was not able to see the end of it. 
to uh, Silver's corpse gall, a malinformed organ cut from the gut of a reanimated horror. Oof, Liliana, what kind of injuries do you have? You now have a broken bone, penalty to dex, to deafened. Okay, we're at least going to have to use the lesser injury kit. No, not yet. We don't have much to go on there. Enraged corpse. Come on, guys. Health poultice, corpse skull, nice. Okay. I want Morgan's tactics to change a bit. Um Alistair. Um enemy. Attacking party member. Alistair, maybe? Mind Blast? Can try that. So we use Mind Blast a little more often. It's a trap. Where? Let us dispatch them quickly. Okay, let me get behind this Mabari. All right, weapon sweep. Nice. Oh dang! I'm being ripped apart. Oh my gosh. It's a trap. It's a trap. Alistair, get in front, bro. Here. Hold this choke point. Everybody, attack this Mabari. Another battle, I see. You Morgan. Ugh, I can't get a good... Go ahead and use a Mind Blast. Oh, she can't yet. Okay, let me come back here and... Nice, Leliana. Get those backstabs in. Nice. Just gotta be careful not to attract a certain amount of enemies. Mabari Health Poultice. Nice. Very important. Wild creatures ahead. A big Mabari. <laughs> and a little Mabari. Now you fall. Nice, I hit both of them. You fall. Hand. <laughs> okay, one down. Shall be given. <laughs> Run while you can. Get some backstabs in. This is a tough Mabari. Alistair, oh, hang in there. Alright. Oof. 
Give me some more health poultices, Mabari's black leather collar for Mabari. Charred corpse. One silver, 48. And a chest, hopefully, we can get into. Ah, oh, Haddis of the Hack on Winter's Breath. Cold resistant, war pace of the Tempest. Electric resistance and lamb bone. We're not really using, of course, Moogie though. All right, let's continue. Slowly making progress. Enraged corpse. Nice mind blast. We must fight. Let us do it quickly. Don't give me advantage. Nice. Let's go to tactics again for Morgan. Gonna be attacking Alistair. Enemy nearest visible. Activate. Okay. Alright. Nice. 30 XP. Alright, we've got a couple cabinets. This cabinet, blank vellum. This cabinet, Alfruit. Oh, we can make lesser. What am I thinking? Go ahead and do some herbalism, girl. We can make lesser injury kits. Not many of them, though. We can make a bunch, because I bought flasks. Let's make one, two, three, four, five. Let's make five lesser health poultices. Um, I have improved poison making. So I can go ahead and make the concentrated extract. Let's go ahead and create and create and make two of the concentrated extract. Which is definitely going to be potent. Let's try to use some of that. But let's um continue. I don't want to go through this door yet according to my mini map. I'm going to go through this door. These things do have unusual powers. Lesser spirit bomb. Resistance to spirit damage. And uh, this little room here. Oh, Valina. Let me grab this crate real quick. Deep mushroom. Valina. Calm down, I'm not going to hurt you. I... I'm sorry. I'm so frightened. These monsters are everywhere. My... My name's Valena. The Arlesa's maid. I, is she... All right. What happened to everyone? I was hoping to ask you the same question. I don't know what happened. There was some talk the all was poisoned, that, that he wasn't just sick. They arrested someone for it, but then everything went mad. People started killing each other, and then their bodies would get up and walk. They didn't attack us right away, unless you tried running. I, I waited until everyone else was gone. I couldn't stand it anymore. Um, sorry about the background noise. Are you Owen's daughter? I've only seen these creatures so far, myself. I don't know where everyone else is. The Arlesa was in the hall with Connor, but I haven't been there in a long time. Are you Owen's daughter? You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? There's a tunnel leading out of the dungeons, lighting out in the dungeon. But, but the monsters! I've killed most of them. It's safe. I'll find my way. I can run fast, and I know the castle. Thank you. 
Okay, Alistair approves, Liliana approves. Shambling corpse. Two silvers, nothing to spend it on. Alright, so our next step is through... Oh, huh, we're not picking up some of this stuff. Six silvers. Next step would be through here. Alright. Alistair, hang in there. You go ahead and use... Oh, you can't use Mind Blast? Yeah, go ahead and use... Uh... Winter's Grasp. I'll come over here. Uh, Alistair, hang in there. Dirty fighting. Nice. No losses. Corpse Gaul. It is begun. Corpse Gaul. Corpse Call. Corpse Gaul and six silvers. And let's check the map. Basement cellar. Basement dungeon. Courtyard. Second floor. Wow, this place is huge. Okay, F5. Um, let's also do a, a tactic. Let's see. For Morgan. Frost weapons. Attacking Alistair. Mind blast. Um... Enemy near is visible winter's grasp or how about yeah enemy near is visible is fine being attacked by melee attack horror that's cool Liliana self any activate song of valor yeah enemy attacking Liliana dirty fighting Enemy target control party member attack. No, enemy target of Alistair attack. And then, um... She should maybe be using, uh... Ranged. Um... <clears throat> Love the belt. Enemy. Um, target of party member. Alistair, use below the belt. Matthew, I do my own thing. Um, Alistair, threaten shield defense. Enemy health. Um, enemy nearest visible. Shield bash. Enemy nearest visible shield pummel. That should be good enough. If I go default, all behavior. Um, defensive. Party member will fight back if attacked in melee combat, but will not chase enemies if they move away. And will try to remain close to the player. Party member will flee the location of a harmful area of effect attack. Uh, no, just keep it on default. Defender. Um, healer, there is no magic. If I go debilitator, no. Let's go. Oh, dang. Oh, I 
how do I do that? All right, self any. Um, activate mode frost weapons. Target nearest visible. Um, no, t enemy attacking Alistair. Mind blast. Um. <clears throat> Hmm. Enemy nearest visible. What else was there? Enemy attacking Alistair. Uh, Winter's Grasp. Um... Enemy attacking Morgan. Use horror. That should work. Save preset as custom one. Let's save Liliana's as custom one. Let's save Matthew. Let's do a custom one for when I'm not controlling him. Self any. What is dual striking again? Attacks create more damage, but the character cannot inflict regular crits or backstabs. Yeah, don't want to use that. Um, enemy attacking Alistair. Go ahead and use dirty fighting. Enemy attacking party member Alistair. Go ahead and attack. Enemy attacking Alistair. Go ahead and um, deadly strike. No enemy target of party member Alistair. Deadly strike and Finally, um, self surrounded by at least two enemies. Usability, dual weapon sweep. And we'll save that as custom one. Alistair, save preset as custom one. All right, we'll try this. Um, I don't know. Uh, how long have we been playing? 43 minutes. Okay, so I'll go ahead and wrap it up here. I want to thank you guys for joining me. Um, been a ton of fun so far. Lots more to come. Hope you're enjoying the Let's Play and will stick it out with me. Tons more to come, as I said. Um, who is that? Arl Eamon? Uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate your viewership, guys. Um, much love, peace, and joy. Catch you in the next one. Stay tuned. So long.